Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle dons a $429 navy cravat dress for a behind-the-scenes meeting with Commonwealth scholars ahead of the Westminster Abbey service. The Duchess of Sussex held a behind-the-scenes meeting with Commonwealth scholars to hear about their commitment to tackling global challenges ahead of her final official public duty as a senior royal. Meghan Markle, in her role as patron of the Association of Commonwealth Universities, chatted with the students at Buckingham Palace before the Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey on Monday. Newly released photographs of the American former actress show Meghan, who was wearing a $429 crepe knit navy cap sleeve dress with neck scarf detail by Australian designer Stanley Theodore, listening to one scholar. The Duchess swept her hair into a chic ponytail and teamed her outfit with navy stiletto heels and minimal jewelry. The images were taken by her and Prince Harry's wedding photographer, Chris Allerton. Meghan told the scholars, who were split into four groups looking at different challenges, everyone is connected because of this very holistic approach to tackling climate change. I love how solution-based you all are, a source said. She was thrilled to have the chance to meet inspirational scholars doing groundbreaking work in the fields of climate and the environment, sustainable cities, health and innovation, and technology. Megan was made royal patron of the Association of Commonwealth Universities in January 2019, taking over from the Queen, who held the post for 33 years. After walking away from the monarchy on March 31st, the Duchess will continue her links to the Association of Commonwealth Universities as patron. The behind-the-scenes meeting took place during the Duchess' farewell tour, which culminated in Meghan and the Duke of Sussex appearing alongside other members of the royal family at the Abbey. Joanna Newman, Secretary General of the Association of Commonwealth Universities, said the Duchess's understanding of the value of higher education was a key part of her association with the charity. She's a very powerful spokesperson for us, she said. Timothy Biswick, a University of Leicester research fellow from Malawi who is looking at microplastic pollution in the oceans, said of the Duchess. She knows what she's talking about in terms of climate change. She was talking about things in quite some detail, so you know that this person knows what they are talking about and are passionate about it. The students included Commonwealth scholars, Chevening Scholars and the Association of Commonwealth Universities Blue Charter Fellow from 11 Commonwealth countries, Malawi, India, Cameroon, Bangladesh, Nigeria, Pakistan, Ghana, Rwanda, Kenya, Malaysia, and Sri Lanka. The Commonwealth Day service was Harry and Meghan's final hurrah as senior royals before they bow out and embrace their new life in North America after announcing their intention to quit in January. From March 31st, the monarch's grandson and American former actress Meghan will no longer use their HRH styles as they pursue a new life of personal and financial freedom. Meghan is reported to have flown back to Canada soon after the Commonwealth service. Another analysis Prince Harry is still in the UK following his final royal engagements. After living his entire life in the spotlight as a senior member of the British royal family, Prince Harry just finished his very last royal engagement. As of April 1st, the Duke of Sussex will be a financially independent, private citizen. The Prince returned to the UK for the first time since mid-January nearly two weeks ago, to embark on a hectic schedule of final royal engagements. Prior to returning to the UK, the Duke and his wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, have been living and raising their son, Archie Harrison, on Vancouver Island in Canada. They both love to be outside and have been loving it there. When they're not doing yoga or eating in, Harry will pick up sandwiches at a local spot, and Meghan walks her beloved rescue beagle guy and the couple's adopted Labrador. 
They go for long walks, they do yoga, and Megan cooks. They are real home buddies who love to chill out with Archie and the dogs. With their final royal engagement completed, Megan has returned to be with Archie in Canada, but the prince is still in the U.K. Meghan Markle is already back in Canada. After returning to the UK from Canada for the first time since announcing Mixit in January 2020, the Duchess of Sussex was glowing. Her happiness was palpable. This was a major shift from her tearful statement in the October 2019 ITV documentary Harry and Meghan, an African journey where she said, it's not enough to just survive something that's not the point of life. You have got to thrive. The Duchess was so eager to return to her son and her new home on Vancouver Island that she hopped on a plane just after the Commonwealth Day service ended on March 9th. She cried during emotional farewells to her staff. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are going to make a major annulment soon. Though they have released no further details about their future plans just yet, rumors are swirling that the Sussexes will be spending their summer in Los Angeles. They have started to look at homes online and are in the process of interviewing security teams, a source close to the Sussexes told LMT Channel. They've reached out to people in Los Angeles and would like to assemble a team of locals. Megan would like to be able to do meetings at the house and also be able to host friends and entertain. Those are two things that are important to her. Royal experts are also suggesting that the Sussexes' next move needs to be major. If they want to achieve all the things they want to achieve, and I will come to that shortly, they need to capitalize on their current high profile, royal expert Chris Schiff explained to LMT Channel. Right now, it couldn't be any higher. Megan could decide to tell all, to write a book, to do a big interview. Prince Harry is still in the UK. Following his final royal engagement and a very awkward encounter with Prince William, one would think Prince Harry would be eager to leave the UK. However, the Duke stayed behind to plan his workload for the near future. He's been taking several meetings in Buckingham Palace. They are reporting that he will stay in the UK for a little bit longer so he can strategize for the future. There's no word on what he couple will do next, but as for Meghan, Chip suggests, think of what Meghan did at that school in Dagenham last weekend of International Women's Day. A diverse school in which she wanted pupils to believe that their background, their gender, their ethnicity was no barrier to achieving their goals. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle always get lumped with Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex, even at their final engagement as senior royals at the Commonwealth Day service earlier this week. Royal observers noted that the pair were more at ease with Edward and Sophie and William and Kate. The Queen actually chose Sophie to be a royal mentor for Meghan a year ago indicating why the Duke and Duchess of Sussex might have found it easier to chat to the Earl and Countess of Wessex. In April last year, royal expert Katie Nichol wrote, According to sources, the Queen has earmarked Sophie as a royal mentor for Meghan. The two spent time together at Royal Ascot last year and are understood to get along well. The pair share similar backgrounds as Sophie, like Meghan, gave up a successful career in PR to marry into the royal family, so is in a position to help Meghan. Sophie has also been standing next to Meghan on a number of royal occasions. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.